What's going on guys? Today we are at Empire Toys in Keller, Texas. We're going to check out what they got. We know that they just got a huge Star Wars lot, so we're going to go check all that out. See if there's any pieces that we need to add to our collections. But first, this video is sponsored by Fan Customs. Check out this custom Retro Freaks jacket that they made. Thank you Fan Customs for sponsoring this video. You can use discount code NART to get 10% off your custom jersey. Details and the link will be down below. These racks over here filled with Star Wars. Like I was saying earlier, tons of Star Wars, mostly like the Power of the Force, the uh, 2000 series, lots of black series as well. So let's go take a look. So check this out over here. This is the um, McQuarrie um, series. A lot. Of what is McQuarrie series? So he is the artist. Oh, this is all concept, concept, concept art stuff. Like, Here's what Vader Here was supposed to look like, or his first image. And the Chewie's the best. Yeah, check that out. There we go. So this is a piece that I've actually had in my collection a few times, but I just don't have it anymore. But it's one of my favorite out of this entire line. I just didn't know that they did so many. Oh yeah, yeah, there's tons. What's really cool too, they kind of like the OG, they all come with coins. Uh, I really like that, little little nod to the the power of the force stuff back in the day that's really cool when did these ones come out do they have dates on them like mid 2000s so mid 2000s 2007 all right all right all right yeah, these are cool. and then wow oh. and these are really affordable pieces yeah, for a collection it's, it's a good one to get started yeah um, chewy is my favorite yeah. by far is there different versions of chewy or are they all the same i think they're all the same yeah i think I so too but it's check out this cool. um Translucent oh. Vader. Dude, that's pretty cool. Vader. For a Star Wars collector, yeah. this is this is cream of the crop type <laughs> stuff. Probably one of my favorite ones though, the animated boba. There you go. From droids. Or the uh, Christmas special back in the day. Is that what this is from? This I is this is kinda what they made it after. Yeah. A little homage. Pretty sweet yeah. though. They have a few chewies available. That's so cute. If you're in the DFW area, head down to Empire Toys and stock up on these guys. Whoa, look at this. That's a cool two pack for $25. Oh, fans choice number one. This is a cool one. It's a cool bot. Yeah. Now, did something like this ever show up in the Star Wars universe? Darth Maul fan favorite right there. Yeah. Oh, for sure. What are these Ewoks? Oh, more Ewokies two packs. See, these are Ewoks that I wouldn't even mind just opening up and having oh, yeah. on the shelf somewhere. For sure. Like yeah. Guido. Now, as good as they do look in packaging, um, I would never take them out. Yeah, they're at a price point where you're not going to feel yeah. horrible taking them out. So, Dave, question. Yeah. Who shot first? Oh, dude. Greta. Greta? Okay. okay. <laughs> is it the universal choice Han? Well, some people are like, oh, Han. Do you shoppers. think it's 50 50? I think it's 50 50. 100%. All right, let's find out what uh, these guys over here yeah. think. Yo, guys, Action. who shot first? Greta. Hans. What? <laughs> like the actual answer or the answer we all want? Yo, what's the actual answer? Greta. Greta? Okay. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> well, I wasn't. Are you I'm not old. I'm not yeah. Hans. Yeah. I'm not old like you. I didn't Hans. see it in theater when Han actually shot first. Hans Zimmerman <laughs> shot first. I was like, I didn't know that he was German. <laughs> <laughs> Hans Solo. Hans Solo. Swedish. All right, guys. So let's check this stuff out. I mean, Ooh. so Empire Toys, they're oh, yeah. stocked up with Star Wars right now. Stocked but they always have fire in these cases. So we're gonna take a minute, we're gonna walk through these cases and show you guys what's going on. You wanna start at the left? Let's look at some turrets, dude. Look at some turrets. So we took a little uh, sneak peek before. Preview. Yeah. Now there's nothing in here that I need, but they got some spicy pieces. Yeah. So. Let's start right up here at the yeah. top, dude. 
look at the 88 Oh, rack. the backpack. That's the backpack, dude. That's it, dude. That's the no, backpack from video. Yeah. Or two videos ago at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys are watching this and you go back two videos, there was a point where me and Craig didn't know where that backpack came from. We saw it on an army, uh, army raft? Yeah, army yeah. raft. But you know what I'm pretty sure is? People are, are gonna let us know. In the, the comments, comments. <laughs> yeah, which one that went yeah. to. But yeah, so that's really cool that we that one has come back into our lives. Um, the mutations are always my yeah. favorite. Those are fun. Those are very cool. We got a Toonie Don. So remember the other day we were talking about the parachute? Yeah. Oh, they got one. The parachute. Now your parachute, did you find that one loose or was it sealed that you opened? It was open box. It was open box. So okay. But that, yeah. that is that's a, sealed, dude. yeah, that's a juicy piece right there. We got King Lionheart right there. Good one. Turtles. You're going to take us over to the Joes here in a minute, yeah. Mike. Uh, but these are cool. Let's talk about these. This yeah. is from this uh, 2007 CGI movie. The villains right here. Uh, you don't see them too often. They don't pop up. And you, if you, their scale is totally different from. Uh, That's a really cool one. Yeah, three, so nine. out of all of these, if I were to grab one, it would probably be this one. Oh yeah, one. dude. Yeah. And just because of the sheer size of yeah. it. Yeah. Because you're, you're like, hey, oh, I like old figures, so yeah. that would be perfect for. Ooh, we got some Dr. Ew, yeah. yeah. Benzie. And now what are these? These little diorama pieces, are they just some pieces that are thrown in there? You know what, I don't know what those are. That's a good question, I don't know what they go to. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> All right, next, we got some gargoyles. Oh yeah, some good ones. Now you have a gargoyles collection, don't you? I have, I have a few, man, I have a few. Um, and. This one, this Goliath over here, it's got, see the soft goods? Wow. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty cool piece. Pretty cool piece right there. It's a good price, it's really yeah. clean. Yeah, and they got all their tails. Yeah. Wings, which is good. Accessories. Very good gargoyle selection. Loose gargoyle uh, selection at that. But while we're looking at this, I found Ooh. one of the grails of the DC Collectibles Batman animated series sets. It's the Batcave. Have you ever had that? Never had it. No? This is one of those pieces that's probably gonna elude me forever because it just, by the time I got into this line, yeah. it was already so expensive. Gotcha. Um, and then they got a bat yeah. signal. That's cool. Which is very, very cool. Look at this. And then the busters. Look at that part of Louie. So this is Matt's jam, right? Mm-hmm. What he does. Got more down here. Bees in box down here. Wow. That's cool. Ecto goggles. Yeah. And popper. These are all 80s? Yeah, these are 80s. Um, these are. Oh, wow. Bad, yeah, the Ecto Charger pack in box. Yeah, that's nice. Grab a meter. The Neutron Blaster. Bam, dude. Transformers, this one's for you, Cincy. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Yeah. So, Cincy, if you're watching this, this is what Empire Toys has right now. This is about an hour drive for me and Cincy, so. Oh. Little videos like yeah, this. Yeah, it helps out. Definitely help. And everybody else that's watching is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, tons of, tons of bonds. Whoa, lots of bonds. There's so much going on in every one of these cases. Yeah. And I just got my pants stuck on a rack. <laughs> so we're setting up here and we found Princess Acula and co-writer, director, Michael Golderman sneaking around the corner. So we got some other stuff going on today that you guys are gonna see on the channel real, real soon. But we're gonna continue this hunt before we get set up for that. All right. So I see a couple things over here that I dig a lot. And that's the original, the uh, Super Mario Brothers movie. So we've got Dennis Hopper and John Leguizamo as Luigi right there. There we go. What did you think of that movie? I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I yeah. I, I mean. It's so much hate, but. Yeah, and I think the hate came before and now there's like a different appreciation yeah. for it. So, and that's the same thing is happening with a lot of movies from the 90s mm -hmm. that 
were hated upon so much then and now because yeah, like, yeah because the generation that watched him as kids is getting older now mm -hmm. it's a new appreciation that's coming back for him so i love it and i loved it right from the start on it look at these duders now do you have all these ones i don't so i have uh max in the back and i got um powder blue i forgot his name powder blue baby powder blue i got that guy um, and then we have some superpowers over here. Yeah. I already got that guy. Um, some vintage Thundercats Ooh. stuff. Yeah, complete line right there. Yep. Mumras. Mumras. We yeah, got some yeah. crash test dummies and we got some really cool Batman pieces right here. Animated. Yep. 89 Batman and then my favorite mask uh, vehicle, Hurricane. Very, very cool. Got some Motu, little Motu nook up here. What is that green guy up there? It's a classic. I forgot his name. And what about that Skeletor looking dude, but he's got the <laughs> so he, different face? He's the um, driver for the Rotong. Oh. Yeah. Did they have a vintage match figure to that, or is no. that something new? Something yeah. new. All right, let's check out the Star Wars case over here real quick. <sighs> Loaded with vintage Star Wars stuff. Look at them. Um, now you're just starting. So I, I haven't even started yet, yeah, but I, mean, I know that I do want to start. So if I were to grab a figure today from this case, from somebody that collects Star Wars, mm -hmm. which one would you suggest? I mean, there's a lot of choices. I mean, obviously, Bubba would be a, a, a good one. Yeah. Um, He's a juicy one he's back a there. Juicy one. Like this Vader over here. His cape looks fantastic. His lightsaber is not broken. Yeah, if you can see back there, you can see the tip is still on it and it's really clean. They got, him at, they got him at 50, which is a good deal. That is a good deal. So, I mean, it started off probably Vader. Man. Is Vader one of the original figures that was released? Yes. So that was one of the first figures mm -hmm. that came out. What year do you 77. know? 1977. Yeah. All right, so this might be one that I pull the trigger on. We'll see. But then, yeah, you got a bunch of, you got a couple different variants of flying right there. Very cool. And then coming down here, we see some Power of the Force stuff. And who's that signed by? Can you see? Signed by um, Darth Vader. Uh, um, Pros. David? No, Josh? Yeah, yeah. David Pros. So, we have, yeah, yeah, right uh, here we have a signed Darth Vader and then a signed Chewbacca? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, um, he actually, Peter Mayhew, Actually, yeah. before he passed, uh, he lived 30 minutes away from here. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Little fun fact. Little fun fact. All right, we have some Lego Star Wars, really cool. And then coming down here, we have some vintage carded. A lot of glare, but those are really cool to mm -hmm. see. All right, let's look around. All right, so what, what are we going to do over here? We're going to get a lesson on Joe's from the uh, the oh, Joe Master himself? Joe what? Master? Just an <laughs> amateur Joe enthusiast. Or what? What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, Joe enthusiast. He's got, That's good, so. some great ones. In Hold there. on, let me get a still so we can throw a lower, lower thirds on you. Bam! <laughs> Sky Striker, which is a great one with a parachute. Do you have that? I don't. I got rid of all my vehicles. I kept space. like four or five. Yeah, they just take up so much space. Yeah. I mean, look how big this thing is. That the Mamba, the bridge layer. That was one of my favorites as a kid. You could build a ditch and put a bridge, and you guys could go across. Uh -huh. They got some uh, Skyhawk. This is a really good piece. It was like right before the '90s. I think it was like '90 actually. It started um, coming out, but. Uh, Sky Patrol, they just take another vehicle, repaint it, and give them a whole patrol because you got the Sky Patrol. Uh -huh. And you see up here, Sergeant Slaughter. You got the Sergeant Morales. Oh, I see him there, yeah. Yeah, they made like four or five different, like Tiger Force, Night Force. Yeah, that's really cool. The Night Forces are super expensive. And some of them were European exclusives, right? Yes, thanks to my boy Ed, I've gotten some of those European exclusives. And what about this one? This that is, is Mr. Serpento, one of my favorite Cobra. He was created by Dr. Mindbender. There's a uh, cartoon series called uh, Rise of Serpentor. So what he did is he took all these world time, all through the time period, all these world leaders, um, bones and DNA, and he made Serpentor, the yes. ultimate leader. So which, wait, somebody made him? Yeah, they made him in a, a lab. They took DNA from King, King is Kong, um, Napoleon. They took all this DNA they found 
to the burial sites. So Joe's actually concentrated on like actual historic figures as well? Yeah, they've done that, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh man, so out of all of these ones, you have everything in this of case? Course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, dude. What else do you see around the shop that kind of mask. peaks your mask? I love mask. Yeah. Mask is one of my top five favorite lines of toys. Do you have all of these? Um, I got rid of them. Ah, uh, okay. Workspace, you know how we all do it. Yep. You gotta try. The only thing I've never really got rid of was my Joes and my Simpsons. It's always been... A cornerstone. Joe's. Yeah. It's, yeah. I won't get rid of them. Right on. Right now I'm on a wrestling kick. <laughs> so I'm looking for old school wrestlers and some things. You looking for vintage rec uh, wrestling or newer figures of um, I'm doing both. Wrestlers. I'll probably do both. Yeah. Right now I'm doing only Mo uh, Motu classics. I'm really into that. Right on. The, the Motu WWE yeah, one yeah, doing? Yeah, 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 I got you. The mashups. So we ran into Chuck from Empire Toys. I just happened to be here. Dude, I love I love this shirt, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, so man. let's let's get let's get that ghost face. Ghost, ghost face love. Face. March 9th or March 10th is the new Scream 6 is dropping, so very appropriate yeah, to see that shirt. I heard about that. I don't know if I'm gonna go see it though. I get scared easy. Okay, here we go. So tell tell us a little bit about yeah. what we got going on in terms of your Funko Pop collection. Cool. Yeah. So so pops have been huge for us, uh, really since we opened. Um, there weren't a whole lot of places at all to come to Keller and find pops, especially like you know within a 15, 20 mile radius. Uh, now there's a few other spots, but we're still like the pop mecca. I don't know if you want to walk a little yeah. bit yeah. And, and take a look at some of this. So so what we did was we had a couple of bookcases at the old shop that were all pops and then we're like all right we need more rooms so we just kept getting more and more bookcases if you look along here and we just sectioned them all off everything from marvel to tv to dc to video games through you know movies uh every collection you think of all the harry potter stuff i mean literally sections all the way off marvel absolutely insane when we yeah. first started it was mostly Marvel Pops, that's what everybody wanted. Now, with all the licenses they do, though, we're literally, like, we have some of everything here. Um, it goes all the way down through our new section, so the left half of the store is essentially all dedicated to Funko Pops. Um, again, something for everybody. We do our online uh, auction on Facebook, which is, I mean, a lot of fun. Uh, we tend to drink a little too much when we're doing it. Um, <laughs> and then we just go through pops. We start everything in a pop and just see where it goes. So the Facebook auctions, you mainly concentrate with pops? You, only that's pops. Only pops. It is, yeah, it's literally yeah. only Funko. So we don't do any other toys. We did one toy auction in like 2019. Yeah. Uh, or 2020, right after, right after everything happened and yeah. stuff shut down. One toy auction, like, let's just try pops. And it literally just... I think the online pop community is very, very strong. Yeah, in they're those super groups. active. Yeah. Yes. And the fact, and, and again, it's one of those things. There's something for everybody, because you'll find some for eight dollars, and you'll find some for a thousand dollars. I mean, it's just yeah. you know, it's it's a good range for everyone. What do you see right over there? You see some Star, Star Wars. There's a, a bow right here. Right there. Yeah. So. Um, to your point, when you're saying like there's something for everybody, one thing that I've noticed like with uh, pops in general mm -hmm. um, is that if you if you see these families that are coming in, there's always one toy collector, and he's really the reason that they're stopping everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. But this Funko Pops brings in an entire new community oh, yeah. Yeah, of somebody yeah. that didn't even know that they wanted to collect because they found something for a movie that they loved in the '80s that there's no other merch for. Right. Exactly. You know? So yeah, that's one of my favorite again, things. It's, it's that license thing. And, and I've, I've said it a million times. People will be like, oh, it's the new Beanie Babies. It's not. Yeah. Because there is no there is no Beanie Baby that looks like Bo-Katan. There is no Beanie Baby that looks like Khan from Star Trek. They might name it Princess Die and be a purple bear, but it doesn't look like Princess Die. Yeah. You have to come in and then you can see literally some of everything. When you look at it, like you look at this without a name and you know it's Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Because you can see it. And that goes a really, really long way. And again, a test to the something for everybody. And again, with how long? they've been around yeah. you know yep so i mean the been time it. It, yeah time has been its favorite yeah like 98 yeah, yeah. But this didn't start until 2010 11 mm -hmm. yep. really started to mix up and, and look at it it's, it's, freaking, it's everywhere. everywhere it's huge yeah. people everybody knows what they are even if they don't know what they are it's yeah crazy. so fun fact for me when these came out i was getting out of the marine corps in 2013 2014 and that's when uh, we were having our first son and I ran into Funko Pops, and I was like, oh, this would be really cool for a kid's room. They yeah. kind of had that look uh, to me. Yep. So I was buying them up, not even knowing what they were, and taking yeah. them out of box and putting them on my kid's shelves and stuff. Cut to a couple of years out later. Box. That's all. 
Cut to a couple years later. It's all the retired first uh, yep. editions of the Batman ones, and the Riddler's like a four hundred dollar piece or whatever, uh, whatever it was. I love Deadpool. The yeah. only reason I had pops to begin with is because I loved Deadpool. They happened to do some really early. I started collecting them in 2013, 14. Yep. And now, like my most personally, my most valuable is a. Uh, uh, 2013 Comic Con metallic red Deadpool. It's like mm. 14, 1500 bucks. Wow. Yeah. It's okay. And I got it for $12. Yeah. And to our point on that again, real quick, there wasn't a lot of Deadpool stuff before the oh, Ryan yeah. Reynolds movies. Yeah. Yep. You know? Perfect. So yeah. for Deadpool fans, it was like this was kind of one of the solutions to get something that was newer. Yeah. yeah. But um, that was awesome. But let's see what you got in your hand right yeah, now. Yeah. So this, so this one's kind of random. So. So now, like we're talking about the evolution of pops, this one is, and there's a handful of them now. They've started NFT collector pops, so you can buy NFTs just like everybody else. Do you get it? Neither do I. Uh, there's so there's all this NFT stuff, and then some of them, if you get like the top level NFTs, then there's claimable pops to go along with them. So this is one they did for their Halloween series, and this one is the it's just Freddy Funko, which Freddy Funko is the Funko uh, yeah. mascot. And they do a bunch of different versions of him, and there's some that are worth a ridiculous amount of money. Um, but this one is just Freddy Funko as a skeleton. Uh, it was an NFT release. There's four, uh, 1,260 of these okay. is wow. all they made. And, you know, a few hundred bucks, three, four hundred dollars yeah. for this one. It's crazy. Like, it's, But again, it's just one of those things where you know, somebody got it. They bought an NFT pack for 12 bucks. Yeah. They got six NFTs and this happened to be one of them. And then you end up with this random $400 item in your collection. Yeah, that is that is really cool. Yeah, so. It's genius. I, yeah. I've never come up with anything like that in my life. Yeah, it's, that's amazing. And I don't, I don't because just because of space, uh, Funko Pops weren't something that I got into, but just the explanation, what you're telling me and looking at this piece, it tells me like, I kind of want that, you know? Like, it's a really cool thing, piece. And all of a sudden you'll go, I kind of like that too. Yeah. And so then you get it, but that's the, the line for everybody. And then like, and if you, and just one more. Yeah, so we got something else. Here, like this is where you'll start to see the Grail case. And this is where you find your higher dollar. I and mean, you have, Freddie Funko, uh, you know, the Dumb and Dumber Freddie Funko, and he's 150 bucks. Um, you got signed, and that's the other thing, especially on the anime side. Mm -hmm. yeah. People are going insane yeah. for all of the anime signed pops. But you get stuff from My Hero Academia, stuff from Dragon Ball. And when they start to sign them, the value just starts to shoot up yeah. like crazy, especially depending on who it is. But yeah, I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff. Then you get into obviously all the chases. And, and they start they started these kind of in the yeah. past year, right? Yeah. So yeah. they started doing the music collections. They started doing uh, the the movie moments packs. Yeah. They did them for Christmas. They did like an elf one. They did uh, the Home Alone one. One of my personal favorites. They did it with the paint bucket scene. Or, yeah, uh, the Home stairs Alone. and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. And it's brilliant. just it's super super cool, and it gives a little bit more to it. People don't have to build something themselves for their pops. It's all already there. Yeah. Yeah. It's right really on. Cool. Yeah. Well, we. Fun. We appreciate the knowledge on yep. them. And real quick, I'm just gonna show this entire wall again because we walked through it, but you guys need to see the selection that Empire Toys has. Look at this. It keeps going and going and going and going and going. <laughs> All right, guys, before we get going, I had to show this one thing because these are figures that you never see on card and you rarely even see in the wild. But they have them at Empire Toys right now. They have the Sam Raimi Spider-Man action figures from the movies that came out in the early 2000s, right? Is that right? So we got cool ones, but my favorite one, I think, oh, here's a really cool one. That's cool. I think my favorite one of this entire collection that they have here is this awesome green goblin with his goblin glider. And these came out from Toy Biz in 2002. What else they got back here? I know there's a battle damage one, and I want to see if they have that. Oh, JJ James. Look at that. Very cool. And this is what I went with at Empire Toys, guys. I had to pick up the 1977 Darth Vader. I wanted to start the Star Wars collection off with a bang. And this is a really clean figure to start it off with. And I also got a pickup from Boston Mike, something I purchased on his whatnot. And I want to show that to you guys too, because it's really cool. It is the DC Collectibles New 52 Dark Side. This thing is a behemoth of an action figure. It is heavy, it is detailed, and I love it. Thank you so much, Boston Mike, for this one. I'm so excited to have this one in the collection. 
Guys, thanks for watching on another retro channel. I think we got another word from Narc himself. Let's go. And we are back from Empire Toys and I didn't pick up anything. I did get a t-shirt that, it's already dirty, I already wore it, but I picked up something from Boston Mike. I picked up a few things from Boston Mike, so let's check those out. So first up, I got this bootleg Biker Mice from Mars figure, and then I got a Vinny, which is super clean. It's got his tails, both antennas, and the action on his antennas actually pop out and work perfectly. So I got both of these. Next, I got this Super 7 Robin Hood Prince John figure, which I love the soft goods. I can't wait to crack this guy open and check out his poses. He's got him sucking his thumb. You got that, uh, that face sculpt right there, which is a great part in the animated Robin Hood movie. So I got Prince John, Super 7, last but not least. So I don't collect Rainbow Bright, but I do love 80s plush monsters. So this is Lurky the Monster from Rainbow Bright. And I got this guy, I think uh, 15 bucks from Mike. So a pretty cool pickup and he's gonna look great in my uh, 80s plush shelf. So. Very cool addition to the collection. That will do it for the pickups, guys. So I hope you liked the video. Comment down below and let me know what is some of the coolest pieces you saw in Empire Toys. Let us know. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also like the video. Much appreciate it, guys. And until next time, peace.